Hearings and the controversial hand counting of ballots once again taking place in Nye County. Kim Passoff went out to Perum to learn how that count would work when it first began back a couple of weeks ago before it was stopped by county order. Kim is here with how it's going now. Well, John, it has been a back and forth battle to implement a hand count of ballots in Nye County. The ACLU challenging the county's every move in court, saying a hand count specifically reading ballots before polls polls closed was a violation of state law. Well, now that polls are closed and new volunteers are trained, that count has resumed. We will studiously endeavor, will studiously endeavor to prevent fraud, deceit, and abuse. Even more volunteers sworn in at the Valley Conference Center, a full house, 150 people now trained to count ballots. It's just amazing how many people have stepped up from not only Nye County, but Clark County, we've had someone here from Reno, we've got a crew coming down from Lyons County. There are more than 19,000 ballots to get through in a process that is new this election. On March 15th, our county commissioners asked the current clerk, who has since retired, to implement a all-paper ballot process for voting and to implement a hand count. New Nye County Clerk Mark Kampf says he wants to make it absolutely clear this hand counting of paper ballots is in addition to a machine tabulation which has already taken place. As a new clerk, I did not want to take that risk initially to go totally to a hand count. Three volunteers tally ballots on their own working in silence and their numbers must match. I'm confident in the process because nothing gets out of here until every error has been caught in the tallying process and if a recount is needed, we do a recount. But not everyone shares that confidence. Oh, I'm an American. I'm very, very committed to making sure all of this is fair. Nye County resident Corinne drove in from Death Valley. It's just all a mess. This is just all a mess. People lie. Machines don't. She is now volunteering to count ballots. It doesn't matter to me what you voted for or who you voted for. I just want to know that your vote was counted and that will make me feel sure that my vote was counted. After taking part in the count, she has mixed feelings. I feel a little a little more confident that people are just walking out of here with ballots, like my initial concern when I walked in. And the deadline by state law to get those 19,000 plus ballots counted is one week from today, Thursday, November 17th. The Nye County Clerk says that he is confident with so many volunteers working at the pace they did today, it will be completed in time. He also says whether a hand count will be used in future elections in Nye County depends on how well it works this time. John. Kim, thank you. And Fox 5's election coverage continues at 1130 when we hear the Clark County Election Department's fiery response to allegations of corruption from former President Donald Trump.